Marxist theory. Marx viewed the history as three great epochs which were marked by the domination of wealthy over the poor. He also predicted that the class struggles will soon come to an end and the emergence of a classless society will be possible. This will happen after the bourgeoisie will face the proletariat and the latter will overpower the former. The bourgeoisie were a class that lived off the expense of the poor. They were powerful by their means of production and constituted a separate class. In present day world however, things have not exactly gone the way. Marx predicted. The two classes are not as polarized as they were, the Victorian. Class workers in shipbuilding, coal mining, and factories are no longer there. Instead, we now have white collar workers sitting in cubicles doing paperwork and enjoying a mug of coffee. The view of the antagonism of classes no longer seems to exist. Modern day Marxists have their own say, Louis Althusser rejects that. Social relations like class are determined by economic forces alone. Rather he argued that three levels exist, economic, political and ideological combining differently in different societies. Also with the proliferation of white-collar workers, it has become difficult to define a proletariat. This is because a proletariat is one who produces surplus value, in the event of office work the surplus value is intangible which makes it immeasurable and hence does not allow for modern-day proletariats to be called as proletariats. Weberian view Max Weber based some of his theory on Marxist theory but had more to say. He accepted the presence of class conflict but also said that there will be a greater proliferation of white-collar class such as administrators, technicians, and civil servants. Another thing Weber said was that economic relations were not the only factor determining class. Rather marketability also played an important thing in controlling class. Labor class could control the skills that it provides to the bourgeoisie in order to increase the value of their labor. Weber also said that class was not the only element of inequality but there were also other factors like status and party which led to stratification. These are as decisive as class. So guys that is all for now, hope you enjoyed and understood the lecture. I will be coming back with more details in the next lecture. Bye. Get complete notes in PDF and book form from our Amazon store. Link given in description.